Hi there. Are there some things glaring at you in the face that you run across, if not every day, then often enough so that it gets your attention and you go, there it is again. I figure that happens to you because it happens to me. And what I've learned to do is to stop. Just stop. Assess what it is that's glaring at you. Figure out all the details surrounding it, you know, how it happened, why it happened. We're not spending too much time, but it is important to, to understand. And then figure out appropriate actions. Is this what you do? I'm Renee Hutcherson Lucier. I'm with QE3 Inspire. And I'm here just along my workout journey sharing some wonderful tidbits that come to mind. I'd love for you to have a life of greater impact because I feel if you do, when you do, you'll release much more love into the universe for us all to, to benefit from. That's what I'm about. Releasing that quintessence, the very ultimate essence of you, who you are, and what you were designed for. Today I'm reminded of why. Do you ask yourself that sometimes? Why? Why do I? Why do I get up and work out even when I don't want to? And how, how is it that I push myself into doing things that are good for me and push things away from me like those butter, buttery buns that are not good for me? I was remembering not too, too long ago, I had to care for my mother before she passed away. God bless her soul, she used to work out quite regularly. In fact, that's what the entire family did. We worked out. We were busy in sports and athletics. But there came a time in her life when stress consumed her and she put down her favorite activity and unfortunately some of the health hazards caught up with her. I cared for my mother in love and I would never regret that. It's not the point that I'm making at all. I'd do it again and again and again, Lord knows. But the truth of the matter is Things happen, and we're a witness to cliff notes or, or a cheat sheet, if you will, to kind of um, better affect our own lives. So I'm reminded of the time when my mom went through stress and pulled away from working out because she was depressed. She was down. She was overwhelmed. <sighs> and had she had just a little bit of guide, just a little bit of a, of a push maybe, things could have been different for her. So, I'm here to push you. What's glaring you in the face? What can you see from your life, right? Others people's lives, others people's whatever. <laughs> what can you see that isn't working, hasn't worked, won't work, that you need to change, that you need to do better about? What is it? Sometimes it's getting up and running. Sometimes it's changing your eating. 
Sometimes it's toxic relationships. Sometimes it's having a better financial plan than the one you're on or getting a financial plan. Sometimes it's getting a better job and stop settling. Sometimes it's accepting the job that you're on and doing the best you can do and smiling and stop complaining. Sometimes it's just an attitude shift. There are so many different things, guys. But you have to sit down in your closet and do the work and figure out what is it? How can I get more out of life? What can I do to improve me? And sometimes you need a little bit of help, like a coach. Sometimes you need things that you can't even imagine. Sit down and figure it out, okay? The world will be a much better place when you make the changes, attitude adjustments, and all the things that make you feel loved and make you free to love. It takes courage, but I know you have courage, right? You've got courage. You're not chicken, are you? Come on. <laughs> Let's sit down and do it. Let's do the work. If I can, you can. And I'm here to tell you, <sighs> I am so much free, so much more free, so much more in love with life, so much more empowered, so much more happy. So, don't worry, I really don't talk like this on a regular basis, but listen, you get the point, right? Sit down and do the work in all the areas of your life. Get it done so you can be you, the real you, not that walking around you that's not happy and all that, all right? As I said, if I can, you can. I'll see you soon. And listen, reach out, connect with me, Renee Hutcherson Lucier at 2E3 Inspire. Love you. Talk to you soon. Bye.